Jumanji, the next level out in theaters now, the follow-up to the remake of Jumanji with The Rock and Jack Black and um, Kevin Hart. Uh, Just a fun, I really enjoyed the remake, the reboot. Um, I haven't watched the original in forever, so uh, comparatively, I did, it was featured on an episode of Spoiled Beans, which I've talked about, it's a podcast. Uh, that goes through uh, movies in detail. Um, And there was a lot of changes made from the original to the remake. Um, And then again, with the follow-up, the sequel, there's been a few sequels this year. There's uh, the um, Zombieland sequel came out, which was not nearly as good as the original, I thought. Uh, Where this one, I thought, was, for the most part, just as good as the original. Um better at certain moments it, it handled stuff better it just did things better some of the a lot of the action scenes in this one were were done a lot better whereas in the first one especially the end of the first jumanji movie with the rock and everybody uh, it was like really dark just anytime movies have have to like resort to setting their action sequences at night uh it's just like it's the worst way to show action unless you're doing like john wick where you're able to light things correctly and it's not just all cg um most of the time it's just horrible uh so that the first one kind of falls apart towards the end where this one how this one ends the 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 level ends in this one um far more beautiful um and kind of kind of predictable i i kind of saw the uh what happened i, I kind of saw that coming uh but still fitting i mean it was still good a fun end, fun end to the uh to the level as it were um but overall i thought it was fun i mean in this one they reshuffled with the characters uh which i thought was uh you know an interesting addition to uh this version instead of uh just the four kids getting transported into the video game characters uh two of the characters were the old grandparents uh up upstairs um they got sucked into the game also uh so like Danny DeVito and um god what's his name uh Danny DeVito and why is he not higher up on the um fuck where is his name uh the dude from lethal weapon danny glover um so they get sucked into the game um and it was fun i don't i think the you know watching the rock do a danny devito impression was fun i thought uh, within the game there's a, a part where the water will uh allow you to switch characters like it reshuffles characters so there's a couple scenes where people uh for different amounts of time get shuffled into different characters bodies uh so you get to see the danny devito character uh not only be played by the rock but also aquafina who's a new addition to the video game characters uh which i thought i enjoyed i love aquafina and all the movies that she's been in uh the farewell uh, crazy rich asians um there was another movie i want to say that she was in she's just great and everything she and i thought she did a better devito than the rock did uh and it was really fun to see when that switch happened uh but i think they added too many new characters um like i was hoping that aquafina was the replacement for the jonas brother because i just think he's everything he's been in he's like the most generic he he is very similar to uh colin hanks who is also in this movie and in the first one who's kind of just very flat um i i just like very the most vanilla performances uh which the fact that they play each other kind of makes sense i guess uh but yeah i was hoping that the jonas brother was not in this movie sadly he does show up spoilers um but aquafina was great i thought she was a great addition to the cast uh but yeah too many characters too many characters and one of those characters uh is a horse which 
is just stupid. First off, the game at no point shows that there's more than the four characters, if I remember correctly from the first movie. Uh, where this one, now there's like six characters, which, you know, there's it's like on a video game system that only has four controllers, so the fact that there's six characters is just stupid. And there would never be a horse character in a video game. Like, there just wouldn't be. Like, that's a vehicle. Right in video game language, horses are vehicles, and you wouldn't just be a vehicle. Like, I mean, what is the? Uh, it just that I didn't really like. I mean, it was the way it was handled in the movie. I thought it was funny. There were definitely some funny moments. There's a moment where the horse is jumping in the water, and when it comes up, it's doing the you know Vidal Sassoon kind of hair flip, the wet hair. It's just there were some fun moments. There was some fun callbacks also to gags that happened in the first movie. Um, but yeah, just too many, too many characters. And, uh, but other than that, I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's, you know, not breaking any boundaries with, uh, writing or acting necessarily. But if, if, you know, you enjoyed the first Jumanji, this one, I don't feel will disappoint at all. Um, and I think it's a fun, fun addition i think it's a fun follow-up to the original um and it the end kind of sets up in a way t similar to the original the og og uh with robin williams um the end of this movie uh spoilers obviously well clearly um where the video game enters the real world because the first jumanji they get sucked into the video game uh, the fir the first remake, oh, it's so confusing. What am I doing? Uh, but yeah, so the the next movie should be fun because it's it potentially them in the real world. Maybe we'll see the video game characters also uh, next to the actors. Um, so it'll give those kind of uh, kids more to do in the next movie potentially, uh, which I'm totally fine with. I think it'll be a fun kind of franchise to just kind of pump out these video game like movies um for like family it's a it's a, it's like a nice little niche of of you know family friendly uh fun action adventure movie uh with interesting kind of big stars um doing kind of wacky uh impersonations of other actors kind of just overacting just a smidge uh, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed my time watching Jumanji the next level uh, and uh, did not disappoint. And uh, Aquafina playing Danny DeVito is uh, just it seems it's just like a match made in heaven. Like that should be that literally should be a movie that somebody does is one of those uh, swap character swap movies. I mean, basically, this is a character swap movie, but, you know where it's just two people, and then they wish on a, a fountain, and then they switch bodies, body switch movies. God, what is that called? My brain is stupid today. But I would love to see uh, Aquafina and Danny DeVito in one of those movies where you get to see Danny DeVito uh, do an Aquafina imp impression, which I maybe it's just because they, they both have a similar, like, gruff city kind of a way of speaking that it's easy, easily transferable, but... I could watch that all day. Um, and the fight scenes are really fun. The fight scenes and the action scenes in this movie were a lot of fun, uh, which, I mean, that's what you're going there for, uh, you know. And it's I enjoyed it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. It was just a really fun time at the movie theater. Uh, but that's it. Jumanji, the next level. Go check it out. Uh, that's it for this episode. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork over at InspireDisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace out!